So kind of an update on where we are with the tree, kind of filling in, kind of filling out actually from the inside. So in the very center of the tree, I usually do the most simple ornaments and that's a lot of the mirror finish and smooth finishes. And then as I'm building out, I start adding more of the glitter, a little more texture, trying to space everything out. And I'm kind of in the mid range right now. I have the center filled, I'm filling out, but I'm not all the way to the ends. One of the things to remember is that before you get completely done, make sure you know where your key ornaments are going to go. If there are certain ornaments that are a difficult size or shape to place, or they have special meaning to you, then you wanna make sure that you know where they're gonna go before you fill everything up and they don't fit there anymore. Keep in mind, if it's a long ornament like this, it's probably going to need to go on the end of a branch. If it is a large ornament, but not long, like this, I have to say this is one of my favorites. I loved, loved these sets of ornaments from last year. This is something that because of its size can obviously go on the outside of a branch and that gives it movement. It kind of moves like a chandelier, but you can also, because of the way this tree is built, I have some room here. I can actually put this here to fill up some space in the back and then add more color in front. So you're going to need large ornaments. Those are going to go lower on the tree and then smaller ornaments like even something as small as this or these to go on the upper end of the tree to mix in as well so that you're going to have the perfect size for everywhere you need in the tree. So I'm going to fill out the edges. Now the really strategic part comes in because I'm doing the finishing ornaments, really balancing the colors, balancing the textures, balancing the sizes, and then deciding where my very special chandelier ornaments go.